So we got these cool um, round mirrors. Um, the mirrors on my super cover are actually okay at the moment, but um, they are a bit loose and when you're riding the vibration makes it fall down. So I thought I'd just get some new ones and I like the round style. So. And the other thing we got is just some fork boots. Um, I'm not too sure how to install these, but hopefully it's not too difficult. first thing I did was get Simba out of the shed, obviously. So I, yeah, say hi to Simba. And then I um, propped up Simba on the center stand so it was easier to do everything. And I got to work trying to get rid of the old mirrors. They were really stuck in there, like super, super stuck on there. And as you can see, I struggled for quite a long time. And I managed to pop off the first mirror. But that one mirror on the right was just so stuck in there, I couldn't do anything. Um, it was most likely rusted through. And then, unfortunately, this happened. Oh my god. Look what I've done. I have no idea how that thread is so stuck on there, but I'm just going to keep pressing on anyway. Besides that accident, I managed to get one mirror on. Okay, so I got one in and it looks really good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to contact a workshop and see if I can maybe get someone to take that thread out. Well, it looks like my trip has been slightly delayed by the mirror. I just called um, Mega Motorcycles just in Christchurch City. Fortunately, they are going to do it. Um, cost depends on how easy it is to get out, but it does need to be done. So, yeah, I'm going to go do that and I will come back with hopefully a mirror. Okay, so I went to the, um, to the workshop and they did it for free. As you can see, now round mirrors as opposed to I'll put an image up of what it looked like before but yeah they look really good and it just gives you a bit better like makes me feel like the bike is a bit smaller which is what I wanted so yeah um, he also showed me how to do the shop boots so I'm gonna do that now and we'll see how we get along okay it's time to do the shock boots so I started off by unbolting the two bolts at the bottom and at the wheel as well and I managed to get one shock off and I was really proud so I had to show you guys um, and then I put on the shock boots and put some zip ties in the top and the bottom just to make sure that they don't go anywhere and then I realized I didn't actually know how to put it back on and the drum kept falling off as well so in that moment I decided to make a wise choice which was to just do the other shock and then deal with the problem later As you can see, the wheel is fully off now. I just have to get those two bolts holding up the shock at the top and then that shock can also come down. And there's both shocks off. Unfortunately, my camera actually decided to crash, so I've made some illustrations. I didn't know how to put it back on, and then I realized that I could hold the wheel with my legs, and I managed to do it. Okay, so I freshened up and I'm ready to go. So I'm gonna go get lunch, and then I'm heading for Awaroa, which is about a 30 40 minute ride, which is not that long, but it's it's good for a first road trip in a new city. 
So yeah, I can see those are the shock boots and those are the nice round mirrors. They look really good. I'm happy with the outcome and now I know how to do the brake shoes as well because to take off the suspension you have to take off the the drum. So yeah, now I know how to do that. So yeah, for another episode I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna go on my trip and I will see you guys in Awaroa. So here we are at Awaroa. It's really beautiful. Simba did really good. Just did really good. It was really fun um, on the twisty roads and stuff. I really wish I had an action camera so I'd be able to show you what the trip was like. But it was a really good ride. So that's the end of this video. Um, subscribe if you enjoyed. There's more content coming. Yeah, and like the video if you did. And give me any suggestions on what I should do. Bye!